Over the years, there have been many reports of mysterious creatures. Stories of creatures from folklore and legend are widespread, and many have come forward claiming to have witnessed them. So here are five encounters with mysterious creatures. The Dover Demon is a small humanoid creature reported from Dover, Massachusetts. It was the subject of an intense scare during the 1970s when multiple witnesses came forward with their sightings. The Dover Demon is described as looking sort of like the grey variety of Alien, except that it has skin of a rosy orange instead of grey. The Dover Demon has a large head on a small stick-like body. It can be bipedal but often travels on all fours. It has eyes that glow, sometimes orange and sometimes green. Unlike the greys, the Dover Demon does not seem to be associated with UFOs. It seems that sightings only happen during a short period of time, with most claiming that sightings have now ceased. The bizarre tale begins at 10.32pm on April 21, 1977. Three 17-year-olds Bill Barlett, Mike Mazoska and Andy Broody are driving north on Farm Street. Barlett, who's behind the wheel of a Volkswagen, spots something creeping along a low wall of loose stones on the left side of the road. At first, he thinks the image is a dog or a cat until his headlights shine on it, and he realises it's nothing he's ever seen before. The figure slowly turns its head and stares into the light, its two large, round, lidless eyes shining brightly. Its head resting at the top of a thin neck is the size of the rest of its body. Except for its oversized head, the creature is thin with long spindly arms and legs. The skin is hairless and peach-coloured and appears to have a rough texture. Bartlett subsequently tells cryptozoologist Lauren Coleman, Standing no more than three and a half to four feet tall, the figure is shaped like a baby's body with long arms and legs. It had been making its way along the wall when the car headlights surprised it. Unfortunately, neither of Bartlett's companions see the creature. The sighting lasts only a few seconds, and before Bartlett can speak, the car leaves the scene. Skeptics usually claim that the Dover Demon was simply a lost baby moose glimpsed under unusual conditions that made it seem like a bizarre humanoid that sometimes went on four legs. People who don't believe that explanation point out that all the sightings happened during the wrong time of year for a moose that small to exist, and they also point out that Massachusetts is far from normal moose habitat. Other suggested explanations include a monkey, a dog, alien, or simply a hoax. The Lizard Man of Skateboard Swamp is allegedly a reptilian humanoid cryptid which is said to inhabit areas of swampland in and around Lee County, South Carolina, along with sewers in towns near the swamp. The Lizard Man is generally described as being 7 feet tall, bipedal and bulky, covered in dark hair with scaly lizard-like skin on its hands, feet and face. It's said to have three toes on each foot and three fingers on each hand. The creature has an incredible degree of strength, more than capable of ripping into a car. A few witnesses have reported seeing a tail, although in the majority of cases a tail was not seen. The first reported sighting of the creature was made by Christopher Davis, a 17-year-old local who said he encountered the creature while driving home from work at 2am on June 29, 1988. According to his account, Davies stopped on a road bordering Skateboard Swamp in order to change a tyre which had blown out. When he was finishing up, he reported having heard a thumping noise behind him, and having turned around to see the creature running towards him. Davis said the creature tried to grab at the car and then jumped on its roof as he tried to escape clinging onto it as Davis swerved from side to side in an effort to throw it off. After he returned home, his side view mirror was found to be badly damaged, and scratch marks were found on the car's roof, though there was no other physical evidence of his encounter. Prior to Chris Davis coming forward to report his encounter, the Lee County Sheriff's Office was called to the scene of a strange instance of vehicle damage. On the morning of July 14, 1988, Deputies made their way to the residence, which was located in a small rural community known as Browntown on the outskirts of Bishopville, South Carolina. When they arrived, homeowners Tom and Mary showed them the vehicle in question. Police found that the chrome moulding had been torn away from the fenders. The sides of the car were scratched and dented. The hood ornament was broken, the antenna was bent, and even some wires from the motor had been ripped out. Under closer inspection, it appeared that parts of the moulding had actually been chewed as if an animal had used its teeth to inflict the damage. To further support the animal theory, the couple pointed out clumps of reddish-coloured hair and muddy footprints that had been left all over the car. While Sheriff Tuesday was investigating the car, locals informed him there might be another, more bizarre possibility. While they were looking over this situation, they learned that people in the Browntown community had been seeing a strange creature about seven feet tall with red eyes. Some of them described it as green, but some of them as brown. They thought it might be responsible for what happened to the car. 
According to urban legend, the Goatman is an axe-wielding, half-animal, half-man creature that was once a scientist who worked in the Beltsville Agricultural Research Center. The tale holds that he was experimenting on goats until one experiment backfired, and he was mutated, becoming goat-like himself. He then began attacking cars with an axe, roaming the back roads of Beltsville, Maryland. One variation of the story has it that the Goatman was the result of a DNA experiment conducted by a scientist named Stephen Fletcher, though other variations suggest a more supernatural origin involving the devil. According to University of Maryland folklorist Barry Pearson, the Goatman legends begin long ago and were further popularized in 1971 when the death of a dog was blamed on Goatman by local residents. Some say he was a man who kept goats and went mad after teenagers killed his flock, driven to seek revenge against any youngster. This mysterious beast has been sighted all across America, but a large majority of its story seems to originate and center around a place in Maryland known as Prince George's County, more specifically in a cave near an old rusty bridge known as Governor's Bridge. One of the first reports of the beast comes from 1957 when eyewitnesses reported seeing a horned humanoid-like creature around the area. After that, the next report of the beast was in 1962 when the creature was blamed for the murder of around 14 hikers who allegedly went too close to its lair. The Flatwoods Monster is a cryptid sighted in Flatwoods, West Virginia and Frametown, West Virginia. It's believed to be of extraterrestrial nature. At 7.15pm on September 12, 1952, three boys witnessed a bright object across the sky. The object came to a rest on land belonging to a local farmer. Once they saw the thing land, the boys went to one of their mum's houses, where they reported seeing a UFO crash land in the hills. From there, the boys and a group of locals went to the farm to try and find whatever it was the boys had seen. One of the locals' dog ran ahead out of sight and started barking, and moments later ran back to the group with its tail between its legs. After travelling about a quarter of a mile, the group reached the top of a hill, where they reportedly saw a large pulsating ball of fire about 50 feet away. They also smelled a mist that made their eyes and nose burn. A farmer then noticed two small lights over to the left of the object, and directed his flashlight towards them, revealing the creature which emitted a hissing noise before gliding towards them. At this point, the group fled in panic. Upon returning home, the mother contacted the local sheriff and a news reporter. The reporter conducted a number of interviews and returned to the site with the farmer later that night. The farmer reported that there was a sickening burnt metallic odor still prevailing. The sheriff and his deputy searched the area separately, but found no traces of the encounter. Early the next morning, the reporter visited the site of the encounter for a second time, and discovered two tracks in the mud as well as traces of a thick black liquid. He immediately reported them as being possible signs of a saucer landing, based on the premise that the area had not been subjected to traffic for at least a year. It was later revealed that the tracks were likely to have been those of a pickup truck driven by a local. After the event, investigators obtained a number of accounts from witnesses who claimed to have experienced a similar or related phenomena. These accounts included the story of a mother and her 21-year-old daughter, who claimed to have encountered a creature with the same appearance and odor a week prior to the September 12th incident. The encounter reportedly affected the daughter so badly that she was confined to a hospital for three weeks. They also gathered a statement from the mother of the local farmer, in which she said at the approximate time of the crash her house had been violently shaken, and her radio had cut out for 45 minutes, and a report from the director of the local board of education in which he claimed to have seen a flying saucer taking off at 6.30 on the morning of September the 13th, the morning after the creature was sighted. The day after the Flatwoods incident, a couple taking a drive through the mountains of Frametown, West Virginia were met with a horrific experience. Their car came to a sudden stop and refused to start again. Shortly thereafter, a sulfuric odor filled the air. The couple circled the vehicle in hopes of spotting the culprit. They spotted something far worse than they could have imagined. From the waist down, it was similar to the Flatwoods monster, but from the waist up was a reptilian humanoid. This creature, thought to be the same creature sighted in Flatwoods, is known as the Frametown Monster. The Sasquatch is said to inhabit areas of North America. Stories of an ape-like creature roaming the forests of North America have been around as long as some of the Native American tribes in certain areas, due to the finding of cave paintings of Sasquatches. However, the earliest written account was made in 1811 by David Thompson who was mapping regions of Canada and the United States of America during the time. In 1957, a man named Albert Ostman reported being stolen in his sleep by a Sasquatch. He claimed that in 1924, he felt that someone was carrying him while he was sleeping. 
Osman claimed when he woke up he could see 8 feet tall Sasquatches with long arms and hairy bodies. Arguably the biggest form of evidence we have of the Sasquatch are the tracks they leave across North America. They are typically 15 to 17 inches long and about 30% wider than typical human footprints. The first documented discovery was in the cold winter of 1811 in Alberta, Canada, when David Thompson discovered a large set of footprints in the Rockies impacted deep in the snow. Thompson was convinced the tracks he found did not belong to a bear. Footprints were discovered almost daily in the logging area of Bluff Creek, California during the 1950s. It was here that the first Sasquatch footprint was cast and Bigfoot was brought to the media. However, Bluff Creek wasn't the only place these tracks were found. By 1980, there were over 200 reports of footprints from Northern California alone. In 1982, prints were discovered by the US Forest Service in the state of Washington that appeared to possess dermal ridges and sweat pores. The footprints were found similar to that of a primate. After much analysis, many researchers have concluded that these would have been incredibly difficult to fake, saying that if they are fake, the individual would have to know an extraordinary amount about fingerprinting. Sasquatch footprints are still being discovered every day across North America. So that was 5 mysterious encounters with unexplained creatures. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.